I'm actually pretty convinced that this is an elaborate plan that you forged years ago. And you wrote the script and you got the funding and it all happened just so you could pash on with Charlize. You know, it, it's not the case, but it, if it were, it would be justified. Totally. Is this your first, you know, major on-screen kiss? Yeah, I mean, I had one way back on the Fox network, but this is much better. Yeah. <laughs> is everything it's cracked up to be? Uh, it is, it is. Nice. It is, yeah. So maybe, she, she, maybe she'll kiss you if you ask her nicely. I already did. She told me I needed to get laid. Somebody in this town is going to die. Please don't shoot us on sex night. You beat this guy at a gunfight, you're gonna be a real hero. Through a combination of, of people that I knew and people that Charlize knew and people that Scott Stuber, my producer, knew, uh, we were able to pull in uh, a pretty nice group of cameos. And it's good, it, it, a movie should never rely on too much of that, but peppered throughout, um, it, it makes for some nice surprises. Did you kind of let it let everyone in on it? Or all of a sudden was Ryan Reynolds there as a cowboy being like, oh, hi, oh, howdy. You know, that that was that was terrible. something that came about. <laughs> that's, that's, those are so his mannerisms. Uh, that 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 uh, was something that came about while we were shooting. We we had to have Liam kill a guy in the saloon to make his point because that's what his character does. And rather than have it to be rather than have it be a, a, an extra that we didn't recognize, we thought, well, you know, here's an an added chance for an, a, another laugh, and in a way, a callback to Ted. The joke being that we have Ryan Reynolds, and he's not saying anything. 